Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the EX-115 UHD-K HDMI extender kit. This product was designed to make it incredibly easy for you to share any of your HDMI media content with a second location up to 115 feet away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or up to 200 feet away in full 1080p resolution over a single Cat5e or Cat6 cable. The product also features local loopback functionality at the transmitter side, which allows you to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote location. The kit also includes a set of infrared blasters that will collect the digital remote signals at that secondary location and pass those back over the LAN cable to the primary location to be rebroadcast so you can actually control the content you're watching. And finally, the product features the very latest in power over cable technology, which means you only need a single power supply to operate the entire system, which greatly reduces your wiring. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter module and the receiver module and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own equipment. I'll list the specifications. And then finally, I'll come back here and actually demonstrate just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module, a receiver module. You'll also find a set of brackets you can use to mount those modules up off the ground. You'll find a set of infrared blasters in the kit. Now there are two different models here. You'll notice the one has a larger head on it there. That gets paired up with the receiver unit. The transmitter has got a smaller head on it and that gets paired up on the transmitter side. And there are sticky pads included where you can attach those to your media equipment. You'll find a single power supply. It's a standard 24 volt DC power supply. You'll plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it and you can plug it into the receiver module or the transmitter module. You'll find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists all the connection diagrams and specifications you'll need to understand about the product to use it properly. Now, if you stay tuned, next we'll take a closer look at the transmitter module and the receiver module. I'll list the specifications and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find the sender module, receiver module, a set of brackets you can use to mount both of these modules up off the ground and out of the way. You'll also find an infrared blaster kit, and you'll notice the element on the end of this is larger. That gets paired with the receiver module, and the smaller element gets paired with the sender module, and it's very important you match those up correctly. You'll also find two sticky pads that can be used to attach these to your media equipment. There are a set of connection blocks that can be used for RS-232 connections to both modules, and you can actually transmit RS-232 control signals across that same LAN connection. You'll find a warranty card, a full instruction manual that lists specifications, connection diagrams, and other information you'll need to understand in order to use the unit correctly. And then finally, a single power supply. This is a 24-volt DC power supply. You can plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it with a collar you can tighten to keep that plugged into the module. Now, because this solution uses a power over cable technology, a single power supply is all you'll need for the entire solution. And you can plug this into the receiver module or the sender module, whichever is most convenient. Now we'll take a closer look at the modules. I have the sender here and the receiver here. Now these may look very similar, but there are slight differences between them that I'll explain as I go through this. Both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them very durable and help to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. Let's start with the sender module. On the front, starting on the left, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all of the electronics just to make sure everything is working okay. And once it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the unit's ready to use. On the right-hand side is the service port, and that's used for moving firmware to the product if enhancements are made later on. And to do that, you'll connect the micro USB cable from here up to your computer, move the file across to accomplish that update. On either side of the unit are ventilation slots, as well as on the bottom, and those are there to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting holes on the bottom that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this up off the ground and out of the way. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left is a power port that's used with the included power supply. Now because this system uses power over cable technology, you only need one power supply and you can plug it in on the transmitter or receiver end. And the minute you make the LAN connection between them, both units will have enough power to operate. To the right of that is your LAN port. And that's the only connection you'll make between the transmitter and receiver. And again, it should be a Cat5e or Cat6. And that's what transmits all of the video and audio power and IR blaster signals between the two units. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. 
This product provides local loopback functionality where you can actually enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to your secondary location. And to do that, you'll just plug a monitor in here with a standard HDMI cable and you can enjoy the content locally. To the right of that is the HDMI input port. That's where you'll connect up your media device that you'd like to share the content from. So if that's your DVD player, or your game console, a simple HDMI cable to this will be all you need. To the right of that are two infrared blaster ports. Those are three and a half millimeter ports. One's an in, one's an out. And it's important you match up the right infrared blaster module with the right module that you're using. So for example, in the transmitter, you want to plug in the transmitter module and it should plug to the IR out. And what's happening there is the receiver module plugs in here and it's capturing all your remote control signals from that secondary location and digitally transferring those across the LAN cable to be rebroadcast from the module over here to control your media. So just make sure you get them connected up correctly. To the right of that is an RS-232 connection block, and that can be used to send RS-232 signals across that same LAN network if needed. Now we'll take a look at the receiver. Again, on the front, power indicator. The minute power is applied, self-test passes, that'll light up. To the right is a service port. Same ventilation slots on either end is same on the bottom. Mounting holes for the brackets. On the rear of the unit, again, you've got a power port. You can use one or the other, so if you decide to plug this in, don't worry about that. That's where the other end of the LAN cable plugs in from the sender unit. The HDMI output port is where you'll connect up your monitor or widescreen TV at your secondary location where you'd like to enjoy that content. You can also pass the audio that's being sent across that LAN connection to a home stereo system or some amplifier to give you that theater quality sound. And that's a three and a half millimeter analog stereo connection. You can just plug it in there, connect it up to your stereo system and you're good to go. And again, here are two more IR blaster connections. You'll plug the IR in to the receiver module here. Don't worry about the other one. And finally, the RS-232 connection block in case you're sending those signals as well. That's pretty much it for the two modules. The O-Ray EX-115UHD-K HDMI extender kit fully supports all of your modern media devices, including DVD players, cable boxes, streaming devices like Roku, game consoles, and home surveillance systems. The product allows you to extend any ultra-high definition 4K content up to 115 feet away to a secondary location or extend 1080p content up to 200 feet away through the system. It provides local loopback of your media content so you can enjoy it at the primary location while transmitting it. It also includes an infrared blaster kit for remote control of the content. Finally, the connection between the transmitter and receiver modules can be accomplished over a single CAT5e or CAT6 cable. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use the HDMI media extender kit with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video in this monitor, and that's the media content that I'll transmit to my secondary location. Over here, I've got a second monitor set up that represents that remote location in your home. Maybe it's an upstairs bedroom or downstairs in the den. It's wherever you'd like to enjoy the content from the primary site. In front of me, I've got the sender module over here at the primary location and the receiver module at the remote location. The first set of connections I'll make are to the sender module, and I'll start by disconnecting the media device from the monitor, standard HDMI, and I'll plug that into the HDMI input port in the back of the sender module. Now this product also offers a local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote location. And to enable that, you'll need a second HDMI cable, and you'll simply plug one end into the HDMI output port on the sender, and then you'll plug the other end into the back of the monitor. Now the only thing I'm missing at this point is the power, and I've already plugged in the power supply, it's a standard barrel connection. It plugs right into the power port in the back of the unit, and you can finger tighten the collar. Now, the minute I add power to this unit, it immediately starts a power on self-test where it's checking the internal electronics to make sure they're working okay. It's checking the resolution of the monitor and the media player to make whatever adjustments are needed to give me the best possible picture over here. And you can see that it's already come up. Now I'll connect up the receiver module. I've got an HDMI cable connected to this monitor. I'll plug that into the HDMI output port in the back of the receiver module. And the only thing we're missing at this point is the LAN connection between the two locations. Now remember, that can be up to 115 feet away for full 4K ultra high definition content and up to 200 feet away for full 1080p content, but it has to be a CAT 5 e or CAT 6. Now I've got a really short CAT 6 cable here just to show you how it works, and I'll plug that into the sender module first. Now before I plug it into the receiver module, notice that power indicator is off. Watch what happens when I plug this in. The minute I do, it comes on, and that's because power is being sent over that same LAN cable. This starts a power on self-test, checks the resolution of the monitor, it's checking the resolution of the media being sent, making whatever adjustments are needed, 
and you've got pictures on both monitors. And it really is just that simple. I think it's an incredibly easy way for you to share content from a primary location to a remote secondary location with a single Cat 5e or Cat 6 cable. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray EX-115UHD-K HDMI Extender Kit helpful. It really does provide an incredibly simple way for you to share any of your HDMI media content with a second location, again, up to 115 feet away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution, or even 200 feet away in full 1080p resolution over a single Cat5 e or Cat6 cable. The product features local loopback functionality, which allows you to join the content here while you're broadcasting it to the secondary site, which is really helpful. It also provides an infrared blaster kit to collect the remote control signals from that remote location and send those back over the LAN cable so you can actually control the content you're watching. And finally, the included power over cable technology really simplifies the installation because you only need a single power supply to operate the entire system. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.